I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. You see a uh, big Rami becoming a, a multi uh, Mr. Olympia champion or oh, winning it for many years? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I For that, you have to know um, where he is at life. You know what I mean? It's like, here's the thing, and I, that's what I know. Maybe that was part of it. Because I had to go to almost 340 pounds, my body said, no more. Mm. And, and I'm telling you, you can feel it at your heart. You know, you get it, all these things. Yeah, you have to consider, and 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 it, it's uh, well, it's it's kind of well concerning when you see people. You know, they're that big and try to get bigger. It's like, well, you gotta watch it. There is something going on where all of a sudden your heart said, "Hey, this is enough." We are not meant to be at, with that much muscle and that heavy. I don't think there's no constructed heart for that. You know what I mean? Uh, to 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 pump the blood and all this stuff, you know. That's what I'm saying. It's a very fine line. You gotta you gotta stay at a certain point and not always thinking of bigger, bigger, bigger. You gotta say, okay, this is where I look good. That's what will give me success. I'm staying right here. So for me, always I was chasing going up to 340. Ah, oh, you gotta be when you stand next to Ronnie, man. He's there. You gotta, you gotta right, right. Him, you know. At six two and everything over six foot, I said it becomes harder and harder, but. You know, like I said, at the end, if you do that for so many years, you don't know how much your body is willing to take, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sad story, for instance, happened to me. And I always say bodybuilding is a marathon and it's never a sprint. And I always worry about bodybuilders when they come on the market and they are boom big. Uh, was it De Dallas McCarver? Dallas McCarver? He passed Who away, died? yeah. Yeah. Here's an interesting story, and it, it saddened me so bad. I, I, it, was, it was the strangest thing. I did a seminar tour in China for 10 days. Mm -hmm. I was the first day at the university. They have be literally a university where they study bodybuilding and fitness. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it was in Shanghai somewhere. It was ridiculous. And so I was the first day there. So I, And then afterwards, I did a seminar, so people come and talk, right? And... Um, I had a guy coming up to me, you know, he asked me, you know, what do you think about Dallas? And I said, oh, I think he's, he's awesome. But, you know, I, I do worry. He's really young and he's so freaking big already. I feel like, you know, it's like it's sometimes, you know, I always look at bodybuilding as much and you got to train your heart and stuff slowly get, starts getting up to that way. You cannot go from here to boom there. I mean, it it will affect, affect your, your, your heart, you know. And... Uh, he comes back the next day. I'm sitting at the front. He walks up to the front table and said, did you hear? I said, what, what do you mean? Oh, I didn't hear anything. I said, I can't get online here because in China, they have restrictions. Right. So you have to download an app and all of a sudden, it's kind of a weird thing. I never did that. I said, well, I, I can get online. Dennis died last night. I said, what? How did you know? I said, what do you mean? I, I didn't know. I just said but I wasn't sure if, like, you know, if that is a good thing. It can create a lot of problems if you go so fast and so big when you're that young. And, you know, it, it was the weirdest thing. And I'm telling you, man, just say it. I, I, it doesn't leave my head, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying it's a, it's a thing where I worry sometimes when you see people coming up too fast, getting too big too fast, you know. And I really believe that, you know, you got to, it's a, it's a marathon. You take it step slowly here. Yeah, and build. It's a building process, you know. And uh, uh, I, I think if you want to have longevity, you got to do it that way, you know. <clears throat> I see what you're saying. So you, you, you're saying that if a bodybuilder takes his time getting a size on, it might prevent injury, like a serious injury or health risk. Say it again. You're saying that if a bodybuilder takes his time, can you hear me? Yeah. You're saying if a bodybuilder yeah. takes longer time to put the size on, they might be healthy in the long run. I actually think, yeah, yes, I do. I do believe that uh, the 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 fast doing it fast and then pushing your body, you push your body faster to the limit. Where if I think you know, so that means you go, you know, it's it's almost like well, it's like a car. 
If you have a car and you drive it at high speed just before the red line, right? Mm -hmm. So you can drive that car for a long time. Mm -hmm. But if you go into the red line, just that little tip, you might not drive it that long for a long time. That's how I look at your body too. If you drive your body, you go like, flatten it, red light nonstop, just to be quick, quick and get the size and, and then get to it, get to it. And then all of a sudden you go like, boom, you know, you tip it over, engine breaks down. And that's how I look at exactly at bodybuilding, you know? And, and, and I think, it, well, the hardest part is really to be honest with you because look, if you're passionate about it, you do whatever you need to do. Well, you know, there's, you know, at one point I had that thought process, but then also all of a sudden I it kicked in. I said, wait a minute, man. You know, I, I, there's, there's still more. I, I want a family and stuff. And then when you see that your body is not quite willing to cooperate anymore as it did, like everything came easy, boom, boom, boom. So you got to make the decisions, you know. You really push it to when it's done or do you say, well, Step back, let your body recover, you know, do healthy things, take all your good supplements and, and try to get longevity out of it, you know. It's like, well, I think that's the best way to do it, you know. It's like, like I said, there's, there's always a fine line, you know. <clears throat> you got to know how far you can push.